All right, you two nation. So we are here uh, recording uh, McDonald Hall here at BGSU. Uh, this is where I was pretty much all year. Uh, if anyone wanted to uh, like see like where I am um, and all that stuff. Um, if you have any questions, please comment below and I can answer how the residence hall was. Uh, but here is a like residence room, like, you know, room 4109 this is where this guy lived. Uh, it was pretty much one person per room this year, uh, but normally there would be two people per room. So you can imagine just like living in here for like two semesters a year and stuff. Um, you don't really get that much space, you know, where's the TV going to go? You know, most people put the TV under the bed, you know, under the bed, they have a chair right here and, you know, each side watches their own TV. You know, it could be a noise problem, you know, noise conflict, you know, I mean, you know, it's, it's obviously not the most ideal. And, but this is like, you know, I'm not going to say this works for all colleges across the U.S., but, you know, this is pretty much like, I would say, an average dorm. It can't really get that much, you know, smaller. Uh, I've seen smaller dorms. Uh, we have eight res halls here at Bowling Green, um, and every res hall has their own perks. Um, what's the best perk for McDonald Hall? I would probably say location. Um, on campus and also I just kind of like some of the lounges uh, but it's not really that great honestly uh, I would say it is a bottom half hall uh, probably number four or five out of eight um, so but this is like a normal like resident hall right or sorry resident room okay uh, the bathroom is down the hall here uh, this is why it's ranked one of the bottom halves uh, we pretty much have to share a bathroom right there in the men's. Uh, got to like pet in there, PED, uh, have a pet and then you get in there. Um, obviously this is my room right here, resident assistants. Um, RAs always make these things for each other. You know, that's what colleges do. Uh, and then we walk in here uh, and you can see my room is like move out day mode. Um, got like a move out thing there, uh, garbage bag, all that stuff. Got to clean out. Um, you know, I'm just going to say I'm recording, you know, just, you know, showing you guys kind of like my day daily life here, not vlogging, but uh, kind of just showing you like, hey, you know, this is like the last day of college, so might as well record it. Um, so again, a big thing about being an RA is you get your own room. Um, now again, this might vary college to college, but usually they're going to give you your own room. Um, they're usually going to they're, they're usually going to let you stay there for free. So you get free uh, living. And then uh, I get free food. I don't know if every college does that, but they usually say free room and board. That means food and stuff. Um, and then also I got 500 bucks on top of that. So uh, it pretty much paid for my PS5 this year. Um, in essence, I would say it was a successful year. Um, academically, I really succeeded. Uh, did good things academically. Uh, made a lot of new friends. And in general, just got sophomore year done. You know, we now move on to junior year. We got two years left. My senior year is obviously student teaching for being a teacher. Uh, so junior year is like the last big year. And then senior year is like, like I'm doing the real job kind of. I'm student teaching already. So I'm really excited to go in the classroom, you know, uh, impact kids' lives. Uh, we're ready to go. Um, but I mean, overall, you know, it might seem like a mess in here. But trust me, it was a little bit worse than this. Uh, you know, a lot of people on my YouTube uh, channel here are, you know, a younger audience, um, high school, middle school, um, I doubt elementary, but like I said, you guys will go probably go to college when you're older. If not, it's fine. Uh, vocational school, you know, enlist in the army, you know, military, all that stuff, you know, do whatever you want to do. But if you do go to college, this is kind of what it's like. Um, my pro tip is if you have a roommate, just work things out with them. I mean, I know it sounds common sense, but uh, it's obviously easier said than done. So when you go in, just make sure that you really do that because that's just the worst thing that you want to have is a bad start with that. Um, I know that when you go to a new college and, you know, usually the first friend you make, the first friend you make is your roommate and it's a lot of luck. You know, it, you know, it is luck. You know, you could have like someone who just does, just does homework all day or 
you can have somebody who always parties every day and they come in late and, you know, maybe you're not a partier or, you know, whatever. So, you know, it's, it's honestly pure luck. It's kind of like mad impact luck on my channel and all that stuff. Uh, but I mean, overall, you know, and then uh, we have a lounge down the hall here. I mean, I'm not going to go all the way down, but like there's a lounge, like there's a lounge over there and all that stuff. Uh, and then, you know, there's just more rooms here and, you know, people who stayed and stuff. And, you know, I mean, um, let me show you an example of a student who did not clean their room properly. Um, and this is actually what happens when you don't stay organized. Um, let's go all the way over here, here. Okay, it's locked, actually, because there's things in there. But trust me, it was a tornado. Like, you see this room right here? You see how clean it is? There's things everywhere. So the guy just left things behind. It was a dirt mess. I mean, you're living here. I mean, this is literally where you live for, like, pretty much, like, two semesters. About six, seven months worth. I mean, you got to realize college starts, like, you know, usually in August. So you're probably going to move in mid to late August. So you have, like, half of August. September, October, November, usually, half of December. So, I mean, that's one, two, three, that's four months right there. And then usually the spring semester, you know, another four months. So, you know, January, February, March, April, usually, and then a little bit of May, maybe. So, you know, eight months, you know, you're living here for eight months. So, you know, things are going to build up, you know, if you have to like put, put something somewhere, you know, you can't put it in a big house, can you? So it's just like things build up, you know, Take the trash out. Don't build trash up. Um, you know, in essence, just stay clean. You know, I used, I used both. Bo uh, my jackets are in there. Uh, my toiletries over here. I have my old PS4 storage and some clothes. But it's just like, what if this was my own room? Or excuse me, what if I shared a room? If I shared a room, I only get this half, right? So that's why I said, you know, being an RA is cool because you're going to get your own room uh, guaranteed. Now, COVID-19, everyone had their own room, but it doesn't always work like that. So I didn't really get, you know, the biggest of perks because usually that's a perk, your own room. But it's still fine. I enjoy the job. Uh, you know, what, you know, what are my closing thoughts? You know, I mean, overall, it's been, like I said, a successful year. Um, I'm really excited for the summertime. Um, I will be working this summer a lot with being an umpire. Um, so I'm kind of getting involved this summer, getting into the umpire program, you know, true fans of the channel know that I, uh, I, I'm already a referee, um, uh, through OSHA, which is a, uh, an organization for referees for the state of Ohio. Um, but that's getting a little complicated. So I got to get my license worked out with that, but umpiring, um, I'm not getting my license for that. I'm not going to do high school for that probably just middle, middle school and below so up to like you know up to like 13 14 years old that's it uh, i might be the head umpire all that stuff it is great pay but to be fair um i gotta a buy equipment and b i'll be in the sun all summer so uh hopefully some nice chill night games but you know i'll be working this summer so it's not like i'm gonna be sitting around for three three and a half months um i'm off may june july and pretty much half of uh august so it's gonna be really nice summer um that's why i'm really excited right now because you know you should be proud of yourself you know when you complete a whole year of college it's really accomplishable um don't act like it's impossible don't act like it's really easy it's somewhere in the middle always uh even if somebody you know flunks you know don't you know don't view that as you know wow college is so hard yeah it is hard it is but is it really that hard where like his flunking or her or her flunking should scare you? No. And then the contrary, if somebody gets all A's, are you going to view that as, wow, is college really that easy? No, it's not. You know, he or she, you know, or it may have earned it, right? So it's just like what it comes down to is, you know, when you go out there and go to college, you know, make the most of it. You know, do what you want to do. You know, maybe you're okay with bees. You know, maybe you want to have a lot of fun and you know you can get bees. You know, go ahead and do that. You know, but if you really want the A's, which I recommend, 
you know, put some time in academics. You know, when you're here, you know, yeah, it's fun. You know, yeah, you can go, you know, across across and, you know, hang out with a friend or whatever. And, you know, hopefully you make friends because, you know, that's the goal of college. Because, you know, there's so many rooms in this res hall, so many friends to make, right? But the whole point of my story, though, is it's all about balance. Balance between academics, you know, family, friends, you know, all stuff. So is college hard? Yeah, it is. But it's not impossible. And what I mean by hard is it's the lifestyle. The lifestyle is really different. You know, you, you know, you, you know, you don't have mom and dad to lean on. You got to do your own laundry, obviously. You know, I would just start doing your own laundry in high school and practice, obviously. That's what I did. Um, but in general, you know, it's, it's kind of time to grow up. You know, I mean, this is really it. Um, and it's, it's, like I said, a whole lifestyle. So it's all about balance, and you'll be doing it when you grow up anyway. And uh, I think Kevin, pa- Kevin Payton said it perfectly. I would say 26 is when you're really growing up because you can't be on your parents' insurance anymore. Um, and also 26 is one that is, is, is the first time when you can rent a car. Um, so in all reality, you know, this is a big step for me. We, ran, we move on to junior year. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. But this is it. You know, it's the official, official last day. Um, final weeks was very stressful. Um, I re- I really wouldn't say in an academic sense. Uh, what I mean by that is my exams were stressful, but it's not like this. Oh, I must get an A on the exam. If not, no A in the class. Or it was just stressful because exams are as stressful as they are. You know, even if you have a good grade in the class, you still got to do the damn questions and you got to do all the writing and you got to write this out and you got to do all, you know, APA, all that. Nah, nah, nah. And it's just like once it's done, you're just like, it's done. Um, and then on top of that, I got my COVID shot, so it didn't really help at all. And move out. Move out's very stressful with all the cleaning and stuff. So just space things out, you know, be smart in life. You know, and it's just like, you know, if you make a mistake, like, oh, you know, that move out was horrible. Fix it next time. You know, next time you come back for next year, you know, adjust, you know, make adjustments. Right. So that's really all I have for you guys. Any questions, let me know below. But that's really it. Take care. Bye bye.